Hey, I'm so sorry, y'all. I went live on the wrong page. <laughs> I'm sure everybody at my day job is <laughs> wondering what all that was about. I am going to double check that I am on the right page live this time. And it looks like I am. I had actually popped in a couple of minutes early to do this part so that y'all didn't have to watch me searching for it. And I'm still searching for it. I know I'm on the right page. Looking, looking, looking. Absolutely do not understand what's going on. It says I'm live. My phone says I'm live on Sisterhood page, but I'm on the Sisterhood page on my tablet to double check so that I'll be able to read your comments and things like that. Here it is. Oh, well, thank you. Um, Tablet to double check. I see that somebody's here. Whoever you are, if you will uh, give me a thumbs up or something to uh, a heart or something to let me know that you can hear me. Having a little bit of a struggle here. I've had, uh, I've had the flu for three weeks. I've been in bed for three weeks. And today's my first day back, and I was I was just so excited to see y'all and to talk about everything. I'm putting some lotion on my hands. Uh, for the 2019 that I just wanted to get on here today, and uh, thanks for giving me a reason to take a shower, to tell you the truth. And hopefully I'm out of Kleenex in this joint, and you don't see me blow my nose on toilet paper. But I'm doing the... Um, the best that I can here, and I'm I'm so excited. I and and I've came on here if I uh, to let's see. Am I in a good spot even to where you can see me talking to you? Somebody give me a thumbs up or a heart or something like that to let me know that um that this is a good spot. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go ahead and start talking about some of the things I made some notes for myself so that I wouldn't forget for uh, this upcoming year. We're going to continue to do the things on the page that we've always done on the page. And I want to welcome, you know, all the new people here and everything. And uh, if you can hear me really well, will you please give me a heart or a thumbs up or something to let me know? Sorry, I, I keep seeing people come on and come off, and I don't know if it's because you can't hear me, or, um, so if you can hear me, if you'll say something, uh, give me a thumbs up or a heart or something so that you can, I know that you can hear me. I just have no idea right now. Okay, I'm going to talk and pretend you can hear me and go from there. For 2019, like I said, we're going to continue to do a lot of the things that we have have always done. I'm going to continue to paint furniture. I'm going to continue to uh, use the Dixie Bell paint and the, the DIY paint and the Drunk Monkey paint and show you all the different, each one of those is, is good for a, a different reason. And I want to, you know, bring out the best in all of those and the finishes that you can get with those and, and teach you the things that that I've learned over the years so that there won't be as much trial and error for you as there as there was for me on that but um, I'm still going to be sharing techniques that you know usually I do at least a couple of live videos a week showing uh, painting techniques I've learned a bunch of new techniques lately. I have some tried and true ones I've been using for, you know, 10, 15 years. I'm going to share those. Uh, it will do distressing and rust and antiquing and glazing and boho and all the bright colors and the new colors of the season. Hi, Laura. Can you hear me good? I'm wanting to make sure I accidentally went wrong on the uh, Oh, my goodness. I've been in bed with flu for three weeks. I accidentally went live on the wrong page. Um, so I do want to make sure that you can hear me okay. And I, you know, so that I don't talk a whole lot and you get frustrated about not being able to hear me. Um, but we will continue to do to paint furniture and furniture pieces and signs and canvases and, and all the things that, you know, you've came to expect from uh Sisterhood of the Traveling Brush. I'm still, if you know anybody, uh, oh, thank you so much, Laura. I'm in uh, west central Louisiana near the Texas border, 
and I love to go places, so that's why this is the traveling brush. But I love to go to see other artists and other people, you know, places who are displaying the works of other artists and things like that. So if y'all have anybody that you recommend or want to nominate or anything for me to get up and go do a road trip and visit, if you want me to come, uh, you know, see your studio or your workshop or, or your... Um, artisan market and things like that let me know uh, you know it's pretty easy for me to drive two or three hours from where i'm at but i'm willing to drive you know five or six hours i do en enjoy going so if y'all can think of anybody who you know would uh benefit from more exposure or, or is just a fun person to be around making really cool art of any kind of sort it doesn't have to be painting it can be you know sewing or metalwork or paper crafting or anything like that that the rest of us would find interesting that I can go and interview or even people who are farther away and we can do it live. We are going to have some uh, guests on our page this year and things like that, but I would uh, thank you so much, Laura. I would uh, love to have suggestions for that too, but we definitely are going to be taking road trips and field trips and seeing what other people are doing and trying to learn from that and any kind of the, the new trends, the you know, the color of the year is a peach and the color for younger people is a yellow. We're going to keep up for those for people who are doing the painting and things as a business rather than just for themselves and for themselves too. But sometimes you may want to do a painting for, you know, your children or grandchildren or things like that. So we'll keep up with all of that. We're going to do more mixed media pieces. We're going to do some art journaling. Um, so if you're watching this and you want to participate in that, go go and get yourself an art journal. You can pick them up at Hobby Lobby or I'll, I'll post. I may have posted before, but I'll look it back up. Um, the one that I use and maybe we'll just do a page each month and, uh, and compare them at the end of the year and see how cool that would be. But we'll be doing a canvas art. And then I, I got a bunch of, of new tools. I have a bunch of old tools and things like that. I've showed you some of the painters and dryers and things like that that I use. But I have some new uh, ones that I got for Christmas. Some battery-operated uh, nail guns. And, um, of course, you know, I always have drills. But now I have a better one. And uh, battery-operated glue guns and things. I'm, I'll show you all about those in the safety um, of using them and the benefits of having them and still use the old school old school tools as well but we'll you know go through the the basics techniques like that and and continue to do how to clean your pieces how to prep your pieces you know I know a lot of the paints and and things especially the chalky style paints um, say that you don't have to prep but most of the time, I believe that you should because you sure don't want to be disappointed later on. And we'll again go over some of the reasons why things like bleed through and we'll go through repairing. If if you find a beautiful old antique piece that you just love but there's a chunk of veneer out the top, we'll talk about different ways that you can fix that and, and you know, go over as many things as, as we can to help you. And all that stuff's free all year long. I enjoy doing it. I enjoy sharing it with you. And you know, we'll be happy to continue to do that. Hey, Shanna. But some of the other things, besides the basic things that we always do, is we're going to have, for those who are, are have a creative business, like I said, whether it's one like I have or another, an, another one, there's so many things that are similar that we have to do, such as doing live videos and your Facebook business pages and your Instagram and the Pinterest and blogging and and there's so many other things that are important and the tools that, you know, that I've spent years buying this one, that one, the other one, trying it, liking it, not liking it. So I'll continue to do reviews on equipment, and but we're going to have uh, quarterly classes for creative business owners discussing topics um, like we just discussed about the Facebook Lives and the best equipment to use and things like that. And those are... Uh, those classes are going to be $30, and if you're not interested, you don't take them. If you are interested, you do take them, but it's not a monthly um, continuing thing. If you already know all you want to know about live, and then you don't join that one. And, you know, so I'm trying to keep those kind of things reasonable, but to be able to offer a little more in-depth stuff that everybody on the page isn't interested in, and we'll pull that off the page into a private group and go into those details and, and do a little more thorough um, information than we would do just here on the page. Hey, Tanya, 
Thanks for joining me. Um, about hope I'm not about to lose my voice. This is my third week with the with the flu, but I do feel better today. I'm out of bed and I didn't sleep 20 hours today. But we're also in what I wanted to talk a lot about that I'm implementing this year is sort of a I'm calling it past the hat. It's like a pay what you can afford class. And these are gonna be more in-depth, detailed classes, mostly Canvas classes, but maybe other things as well. If there's some that y'all want to talk about, I have, I'll have. i talk about the January one here in just a minute. But um, these take a whole lot of time and effort um, from me and take away from my other business and my family. And I'm going to teach, you know, more techniques than I would be able to quickly teach in a live on the page here, stopping and talking to people and things like that. So it won't be that way in these other ones. We will once again have a, a shoot off group each month. We'll have a January, a February, a March, and I'll leave the information up in these for 90 days. So if you decide you want to do the January and you don't have time in January, you will have, you know, the, the whole first quarter to to finish that one before it disappears and you'll be able to save it. I've already recorded the January one and I wanted to discuss it, but um, there's a lot of other people who do the, you know, the monthly classes. This is not a, a membership or a subscription because once again, some of these things, some people may not have any interest in at all and others you may say, oh, this is the one for me and you want to participate in. And I don't want it to ever be that somebody can't do it because they can't afford it. So the way that I'm gonna structure these is um, pay what you can afford, and the minimum is gonna be 10, but you can pay 10, 15, 20, 25, feeling generous, pay 30. These will eventually move over to my Etsy and be a full-time uh, class that will be purchased separately outside of my page and, and outside of the group. But I want to offer the people who've you know, been showing me all the love and appreciation all this time that I've been doing this, you know, these classes um, at what they can afford. And if you're feeling generous, do it. And if you, you know, if you only have 10 bucks, I'm happy with that. I'm not going to look, judge, or care. I've, I've been so poor in my life where I would have wanted to do one of these classes and not had the $10. And I've been, um, blessed enough to you know be able to pay more so that's that's kind of going to be the structure that those are set up i actually have hired an assistant to help me with part of this but she actually has been sick too and i haven't even heard from her for a week so um right now the way the january is going to be set up is i'm going to put another post on here in a minute with a picture of this month's project which is this one i recorded it today um let's See, this, there's a, a delay on what I see here, on what's being recorded here, and then what's showing on the page. So, let me, okay, here we are. This is a 9 by 12 uh, canvas, and this one was done with, uh, mostly with palette knobs, but with palette knobs and brushes, and this will be our January pro project. And if you decide to join that, um, I'm going to post a picture of this in a minute with instructions and with my PayPal address and you will just um, send whatever amount that you can afford to my PayPal address there and it will then send me your email. I'll need you to include in there the, uh, the email that you used for your PayPal because sometimes all that doesn't match up and what your name is on Facebook in the comments box so that I can tie it all together and then I will send you a link to the group and that will then, you'll answer some questions and, and get on in the group and you'll be there and I will, uh, First thing, the the group is already there, but there's nothing in it yet. It's like I said, I've I've been in, I've been sleeping about 20 hours a day for three weeks now, um, but I will have the uh, supply list topped up and ready and have that in there. And then uh, once the video, it's been recorded, but I got a bunch of phone calls during it today, so it has to be edited to be put together to put in there. It as of right now, it's about an hour and. Um, let's see, the first was 16 and a half minutes. The second part was like an hour and five minutes. So all of that has to be spliced back together to, to put in there. But that'll, that'll go in there for January. If you have questions, you'll be able to ask them. You don't have to use the same exact colors as me. And I did discuss that in the video. You're going to want to use darker colors where I used darker colors and lighter colors where I've used lighter colors. 
in all probability you may not want to do that either but you can uh, do what you want the but I gave you the exact um, colors that I used and uh, and then did the demonstration to show you how to do it and this is a like I said a 9 by 12 um, gallery stretched frame they're very nice frames we won't always use these I'll let me set this aside um, sometimes we will use if I can grab one of these the less expensive frames which are like I love to do 12 by 12 so we'll probably do a lot of those but these are less expensive stretched canvas so we'll be doing those and I always I'll have this picture probably in the group tonight and this is um, my sketchbook where I sketch out and list what I'm gonna name the the project a sample in my mind of what I hope to come out with afterwards and then the list of supplies and I'll go in and get you a link to each one of these supplies so that you can see you know exactly which one it is so that you know if you do want it to be exactly the same or at least the same consistency or a similarity that you'll have something to go by I have affiliate links for some of this so that you know I I could I think I made 11 cents on Amazon last month on my affiliates, so it's not like it's a lot, but it does help to pay for the, you know, two or three hours that I'll spend getting together this list, but this, I'll, I'll put this in because you may, uh, if you are someone who does um, things like this for other people too, sometimes it's nice to see the process of what another creative person does to create theirs, but this is, we've looked at this book before, let's see, here's the one we talked about for the small canvases that we did but this you know this is this is my method and I'll put this in there for you to see I'll get you the links I'll put them in there I'll put a picture of the piece and then we'll have the video in there and then it, the January class won't get deleted till the end of March so you'll you know you'll have all that time to be able to do it and just you know pay what you can so that's the most um exciting thing that we're going to do this year is is have classes that go into more depth and more detail these are similar to the you know like the painting with the twist and it's called masterpiece by you where i live and and those type of things but you can do them at home with your pajamas or you can do them at home with your grandkids or your best friend or however you want to do them at your leisure when you feel like it and with the colors that you want and with the quality of paint that you want and learn the techniques and the, and that's the main thing is is learning the the technique and the skills and get more you know used to doing that and as i said you know in the video today there's going to be some people that are going to take a project like this one and they're going to run with it they're going to make this style take something that they learned from this and make this their style and they are going to make some just beautiful beautiful things this would be gorgeous in pastels and we may do something we will do something similar in pastels but I wanted this one to be bright and bold because I was feeling bright and bold and shabby and all that stuff today but um and the the next one that we do you know may be more subtle and softer and that may be your thing skip January do February and then that may be what teaches you the technique that spurs you to find what niching or thing in your heart is the piece that you're going to be good at and that's what I'm hoping that you know that these classes do is go in depth enough for you to feel comfortable for you to feel like you really learned something for you to be going home you know not just with a a simple piece but with something where you learned a technique that you can then take and use on another piece at home without me and without anybody else helping and, and then learn from it so that's why these go further into depth and and why I'm offering them in that way this year and I hope that um, that we're gonna have a fantastic year um, and learn a lot together and continue to grow our businesses if you're doing it for a business and it again if you have a uh, artists that you would like me to visit or or you know 
contact if there's somebody contactable. I mean, I probably can't contact somebody like really famous, but if they're, you know, I have other friends in the art world that I'm going to ask to come in and do some guest classes for us for our monthly classes. And, uh, like I said, I'll go on more field trips and we'll see more of those things. But if you think of, of something, you know, I'm pretty far down here in the South, but I'm going to go on a vacation or two this year and I'll tell y'all where that's at. Maybe you can recommend some places there for us to go because I will continue. This is a traveling brush. I will continue to travel and, and see things and, and share that with y'all too. And I hope that y'all share those things with me. And that's sort of what we've got going on for the year is, is, the group will be a place for you to safely show every bit of what you've got going on with your pieces so that we can all see your growth as an artist as well. And I hope that um, it's going to, the, the way that it's structured and set up will be in such a way that more people will be able to join. And I have so many, you know, people to think there's a, another lady that does a similar sort of a pay what you can class. Her name is Katie Clementi. She does uh, beautiful furniture painting techniques. And um, there's a, a lady who does more roses. If you say, hey, I love this style, who can I see to learn more from? There's a lady named um, Amanda Hilburn at uh, the Little Bluebird Gallery. She does beautiful, whimsical things. The um, A little bit of the darker techniques that I use in here, I... I Got those from learning from uh, Sonia Miller at Junk Monkey Paint Company. There's just a lot of the, you know, the techniques that I've used. Uh, the boho glam pieces were from Katie. And some of the other pieces from uh, Dion Woods. There, there's so many of these beautiful artists out there that I'm friends with. And I can take a little bit from this one, a little bit from that one, and share that with you. And then and then I want to see what you take from that and how you grow. And I, like I said, I can always find, you know, another artist whose work that you can look up to lean a little farther in the direction that you want to be. So I'm hoping that... Um, to see some of y'all in my classes this year. And if, if you're still here and, and you can share this, that would be fabulous. I know there's other people out there who are, you know, like us, who are crafty and, and who are a lot of us empty nesters. We get to visit the grandkids some and, you know, the husband has his things and we have our things and, but we have more time on our hands and a little bit a little bit more money on our hands to be able to do things that we enjoy. I know I'm, I'm 55 years old. I'm at the time in my life where I want to do the things that I enjoy now. It's sort of my turn. And the painting and the crafting and all of those things, uh, that's what interests me. So I hope that you'll share this with other people that... Um, you may know who may be interested and that we can get a fun group of girls together and then month after month we'll see each other and continue to see each other throughout the year and just make this the year of just the art power girl. <laughs> I appreciate you and I look forward to uh, all of our projects for the year. I never finished the jewelry box project with the decoupage napkins um, that I wanted to do in December because I got sick and we will have that coming up uh, in January or February. I'll, I'll have it soon. But um, I'm on Instagram, Sisterhood of the Brush. No, Sisterhood of Traveling Brush. If I would love you to uh, follow me there. I have a YouTube channel where I take a lot of these videos and put them there. Make them a little easier to find. Plus, I do some live videos on YouTube that I don't do on the Facebook pages. And... Let's see where else. And, and Pinterest. I would love you to follow me on Pinterest and repin some of uh, the things that I have there. That helps my business to grow. And that's how, you know, we help each other as, as females to lift each other up and empower each other. And I'm hoping that I can be doing that for you one day. So share this. Help your friends. Help me. And I'll talk to y'all soon. I'm excited about this year. And I hope you are too. Thanks. Bye. <laughs>